email etiquettes 10 golden rules etiquettes what are etiquettes the rules which indicate the correct way to behave in a certain time and place okay this is a just a general definition of uh, etiquette if we relate it etiquettes with email it becomes email etiquettes how we are going to behave in a certain time and place okay that means whenever we are writing an email we need to keep certain points in our mind okay so let us discuss why this is important this is what email etiquette is now when we are writing an email along with email etiquettes we need to keep our tone very appropriate why because when we are writing an email okay without any immediate feedback means if you if you're sending an email and we are not talking to that person face to face or through telephone or through any other medium then your reader may misinterpret your document very easily so it is very crucial that we need to follow certain basic etiquettes along with we need to keep our tone very appropriate okay so how we can do this let us try to understand first why we are doing an email communication because it is a quick communication okay we can share the professional information with everybody we can keep record of communications sometimes we just send an email just to inform somebody ki, okay we are proceeding like this this is just for your information and record okay so this is the very important thing sometimes we use email only for recording only record purpose only so that we can refer in future the basis of doing something we can uh, always uh, show it as a proof also so this is a kind of record okay so it is very quick communication you can discuss on phone and you can send an email to anybody okay and you can share the already received emails with many people so this is very quick communication what we need to avoid inappropriate conversations we need to avoid while sending an email okay we don't have to send any funny or political or religious kind of email we don't have to uh, express our views related to politics or religion it may hurt anybody so we need to avoid such communication and we, this is a thumb rule harassing co-worker this we never do okay we need to avoid every time this is a thumb rule never send an email to harass anybody okay why because it is a written communication your written communication can always be used anywhere this can be forwarded to anyone so we should not do this communication to harass anybody so this is a very uh, good thing to avoid this thing and one important thing think before you send whenever we are sending an email we need to keep in mind whether this is relevant to our organization what we are doing in our organization is it related to that only then only we should send it could this information hurt embarrass or offend someone why to write anything which is going to offend anyone okay this is a just a thumb rule we have to avoid such things could this email be misinterpreted in a bad way okay we need to keep our tone appropriate and we need to basic uh, follow basic etiquettes so this will be automatically gone okay we should never write such a sentence which can be interpreted in a bad way okay so we need to keep our tone appropriate how we can do this okay uh, we have listed out uh, 10 golden rules let us discuss one by one first one is always include a suitable subject line subject line is a very important thing it is a part of email which we write most of the time at the end when we have finished our email then only we write the subject line but it is very important why because this is the first thing which a receiver will look into okay based on subject line only the receiver will open the email okay 50 percent information they can sense what kind of email it is what is the content what is the urgency everything you can convey through the subject line most importantly subject line is important so that you can refer or search your email in future also maybe down the line six months later if you want to search any email subject is the best thing which you can search to reach up to the desired email add all relevant stakeholders name as recipients okay in corporate culture many people play some political tricks they don't uh, send 
an email to all these stakeholders okay it is not going to help anybody it is going to hurt the project activities only okay they keep on sharing the email to the stakeholder which are not relevant okay the email will go from one person to another then to another then in the end it will reach to a concerned person by that time many people have played their politics but this is not good to good for any project okay so we should keep all the relevant stakeholders use the recipient's name in the greeting okay if somebody sends me an email and he starts an email with hello atul singla so my name will be there so i will be personally attached uh, to that email so that is very good thing to do use recipient's name never say dear sir dear mr never use such thing use recipient's name in the greeting do not write in all capitals use capital when appropriate capital letters we should avoid in most of the emails whenever we write something in capital that means we are giving some stress to that thing okay so that is very important we should use it very rarely when we need to stress upon something then only we can use capital letter or if you want to express your anger on some particular specific thing then you can use all capital letters try to keep the email brief one screen length this is a very good thing these days many people are using mobile also they want to read all the emails on mobile so never go for longer emails okay whatever uh, you want to convey uh, up to the point we should uh, write every each and everything okay we should limit the length of the email but at the same time we need to convey our message properly also so that much length must be there but we should limit the length do not use email to discuss confidential information this is a thumb rule in life also we should not uh, do all these things we should not share confidential information through email take care with abbreviations and emojis okay so abbreviation everybody is not aware of all the abbreviations so we should avoid all these things we are writing an email to a subject we need to be very specific and we should use full forms only use a font that has a professional or neutral touch okay when we are writing an email it is a kind of professional communication we should use good com uh, fonts only funny fonts we should avoid check for punctuation spellings and grammatical errors okay this is very uh, ethical thing we should do before sending an email we should always check our spelling grammatical mistakes we need to avoid okay this is a basic thumb rule so that uh, person who is going to read the email he should get a feel okay this mail has come from a educated person okay so th these things we need to take care these days very uh, auto check features are available everywhere it is available so we should use all these things before sending an email do not forward unnecessary unrelated emails okay when we are sending an email it should have a meaning it should have a subject it should have a content in it so that person who is reading he should not feel that he has wasted uh, his time okay even one or two minutes are also important these days so we should not forward or write any unnecessary email so these are the 10 golden rules which we need to follow whenever we are writing an email to anybody whenever we are uh, responding to an email then also we should keep in mind all these points so these are the golden rules etiquettes we should behave in a certain time and place appropriate tone should be there okay communication uh, done through email is very good okay inappropriate conversation should be avoided and this is very much whenever we send an email we should think we should read our email again and we should think about these three things then only we should press uh, click on press button send button okay so these are the golden rules so stay tuned many more videos are coming on same subject series of six videos email etiquettes covering these six topics 10 golden rules handling flaming how to write a subject line difference between formal and casual email what is the importance of postscript in an email how to make an impression through signature okay so these are few of the topics which we have covered in this series hope you are uh, enjoying all these videos you can access these video by clicking on the channel link then go to playlist and select email etiquettes you can access all these six videos at a single location so stay tuned keep watching